Hello everybody, this is Jody Ann Johnson, people champion and strategist with the 91st episode of Coffee with Jody. And this month of July, we're gonna be talking about independence and freedom and how it relates to a variety of issues. We were doing research on what are the days of awareness for the month of July, and I came across some really great ones for you. Today we're gonna to talk about Clean Beaches Week and the international plastic bag free day. Those of you who have been following us for any length of time know that we're deeply passionate about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal. And when we talk about clean beaches and plastic free, the natural sustainable development goal to relate it to is number 14, life below water. There are 8 million metric tons of plastic that get thrown into the ocean annually. I wanna like just be with that for a minute. A hundred million metric tons are polluting our coastal waters and beaches by two billion people that live within 30 miles of a coast. These are staggering numbers. We've all seen, and you can look back in your mind's eye of the last time that you were at the beach about overflowing trash cans, plastic bottles, plastic bags, plastic all over the place, paper all over the place. Really, it's almost like, you know, you go to the beach and feel like you have to go walk down the beach and clean it up just to be able to be there. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. With independence and freedom comes great responsibility to make the world a better place for ourselves, for our children, for our future generations, and for our world. There are a number of different organizations that are taking action on this. Recently, I bought a toy for our dog, Dulce, our rescue dog, and it's made from plastic, collected from the oceans, and turned into dog toys. That's pretty cool. We know today that there are many very sound alternatives to using single-use plastic bags. We've talked about some of those in our previous um, videos about the rack that you can dry your plastic Ziploc bags on or taking containers with you to a restaurant so that when you do have leftovers, you're not bringing home additional plastic. Things we could all do to have a plastic-free world. We'll never fully eliminate the need for plastic, but each one of us can take an action and make a decision to reduce the amount of single-use plastic that we have in our day in and day out lives. This month of July, we have a lot to celebrate here in the United States. And as we celebrate our freedom and our independence and our declaration of independence, let's keep in mind the great responsibility that we have to Mother Earth and to our future generations by taking definitive action to stop single-use plastic. If you got value from this, please like it, share it, and subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more about how business coaching can support you in reaching your business goals, then please schedule a discovery call with me using the calendar link below. That's it for today. Have a wonderful 4th of July and a very great and fun month of July. Bye for now.